Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Journaling Club podcast. I am with Cynthia. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I am Simon. And uh, actually, we were just uh, recording the episode number seven. And we got a problem, so we have to uh, restart everything. Yeah. So hopefully this time I don't get any uh, trouble with the recording. recording. Because it's not cool. No, and it was going good too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Today, we wanted to talk about uh, what we have done wrong when we started our online shop. And uh, with Cynthia, so we were saying that at the beginning, uh, we didn't start well at all. Uh, we were going too fast, too furious. <laughs> we were too excited. Yeah. No. And, um, we were just unprepared. Yes, that's yes, true. So, um, can you tell us, Cynthia, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think we have done wrong at the beginning? I think that we started too fast um, without having an audience or community. Yeah, that's true. Because in the beginning, we had opened up our shop, we opened up Instagram, I think we did everything at the same time, and when we were posting, it's like we were talking to nobody. <laughs> yeah, I even think that we started the, the online shop before Instagram. Maybe, I don't remember, yeah. but I know in the beginning it, it was very, very slow for us because we didn't understand a lot of things and we just kind of went for it. Yeah. And... Um... Okay, so <laughs> I'll try to just go back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we can explain like wh why we started the stationary business. Why? Because, uh, well, we know we both like uh, stationary. Yeah. And we I... both like to draw. And we had uh, some savings, and uh, we wanted to to start something, uh, you know, for for, for us. on our own. Yeah. yeah, it was also for you um, a good way to start a little business because uh, we, we are in France, mm -hmm. and um, it's not easy to find a job here for you because uh, you can't drive. Yeah, and uh, I didn't speak the language either. Yeah, so it was also for me. It was a good opportunity for starting something by yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, we started like that. We had some savings, as I said. And we started to make the Shopify business. So Shopify, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a platform Yeah, that we use uh, to do the website, just in case you are not familiar with the name. So, yeah, uh, we started that. We started to get work products, but nobody knew about us. Yeah, knew about us. So, um, it wasn't easy. <laughs> and uh, at the beginning, because I was uh, following a, a class, a, uh, yeah, we can say that. Of course. A kind of formation. Uh, yeah, formation. And uh, let's see what I was saying that uh, you have to do uh, advertisement on Facebook. So, we have done that. And uh, we got super lucky because we, I remember the, the day we launched, we got one sale. And uh, I think without that, maybe... It I'm, was the day we launched? I think it was the day we launched or the day after. I don't remember. Like yeah, I think it was. Okay. Because I remember I uh, was excited and I went to get some sushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You remember that? I remember, I remember anything. That. I remember that. <laughs> so I was really happy. <laughs> and uh, I think without that sale, I don't think we I would have the... Maybe not the motivation, but you know, I would have feel like... Uh, Failure. It's not working, or uh, maybe there's something that uh, we don't know, or it's not for us. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, because um, we none of us knew about uh, business, because we didn't take any business class. No, I didn't take any business classes uh, in school, like in so, college or anything. I didn't take any of that. So uh, yeah, we were seeing on the precedent uh, attempt for the podcast. <laughs> Can you, Cynthia, tell us what were you doing at school? What did you study? Um, well, I was at, at a community college and I was taking mostly art classes, uh, fashion classes, so sewing, you know, learning about fashion because I, I was one of my interests and also uh, cooking, culinary classes, baking because I didn't know what I wanted to do, like uh, what job or career wise because, you know, you always have to know, you have to choose, like what do you want to do in life? And me, I didn't know, but I liked these. These are my interests and my hobbies, these things. And so I was like, well, since I don't know what I want to do in life or where to go, I'm just going to take some fun classes and learn something and see if, if that leads anywhere. So that's what that was my idea. Yeah, and actually, um, 
So all those classes that you took, so the culinary class, baking, fashion, and art class, mm -hmm. we can see that from uh, the Instagram. Like, yeah. uh, we can see sometimes we're sharing some recipe. Yeah. And all uh, those classes were helpful because I, I was already taking, uh, I didn't know how to sew before a bit, but it helped me to learn and just to be more familiar in cooking and baking, you know, that's every day, you know, you cook and you bake, so that helped me. And uh, our class will, and those are just fun. <laughs> it's true. Oh, but just a question about art class. Do you think it was, uh, it helps you to be better or do you think it helps you with uh, what you're doing right now? Um, actually, I don't think any of the classes in, that I took at, in college helped me. I don't know, I did, those are not that fun as like the ones I took in high school because so, those were more painting and drawing and that's what I really enjoyed doing. And so to me, that was more like, oh, I got to practice, uh, you know? But maybe it confirmed that it's what you like. Uh, you yeah, want. maybe. Yeah. Okay, so no business class, but it's still like in, um, how do you say that in English? En rapport, en relation? Uh, yeah, related. It's still related with, with what you are doing right now. Mm -hmm. And as for me, I didn't took any business class either. And as you, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I went into a logistic class, which is about, you know, uh, uh, the flow of the products, um, to order the products, uh, to have them uh, in stock. And uh, So like a warehouse, a company? Yes, yeah, so it's all about that. It's not really what I'm doing right now, because uh, right now I'm a forklift driver. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still in a warehouse. And um, I wasn't really passionate about that, but um, at the end of the what we call college in uh, in France, I was like uh, 13, and uh, you already have to think about what you want to do uh, as a job later in your life. Mm. Um, and my dad was working in a warehouse, and actually I kind of like follow uh, his steps, and uh, so it's sort of what uh, I decided to do. And uh, I think if I could change something, I would probably um, go more into business class actually because I mm. feel like it's what I like now yeah I like just uh, it's not really uh, about uh, how to say business it's just I like to to create projects to have projects and to mm -hmm. try to build them and um, if I could change something maybe I would go more in something like that if there's any class but anyway I think uh, what is done is done yeah. and I really enjoy what I'm doing now I mean with you Cynthia yeah I'm really so uh, yeah, well, I think that even though if you didn't take a class in school or college or university anywhere, you can you can always still learn. I mean, there's a lot of things on YouTube or online yeah. where you can yeah, just true. learn on your own if, if you really want to. Yeah. yeah, it's what I used to say to some of my co-workers, especially one because it's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, uh, it's not because you didn't uh, do what you wanted at school that uh, when you are done with school, it's over. Like, you can still learn stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's like us, we learned about... Uh, about how to create a little business, we learn how to make a website and how to create products and stuff yeah. like that. So everything is there online, mm -hmm. and it's a, for me it's a, a great luck that uh, you're always learning. Yeah, you can just go on Google and uh, type what you want to learn, and you will find info, and you can practice. I mean, before you we didn't have that. Yeah. And uh, so there is always a way for for us to uh, to learn something new, and uh, if you want to try stuff, uh, just just go for it. Yeah. But I will go back on the topic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we kind of sidetracked a bit. Yeah. And so, yeah, what we have done wrong, it's uh, when we started the, the little e-shop, e-commerce, is that we didn't have any traction at the beginning. Yeah. No traffic, no nothing, uh, except uh, the traffic from the advertisement I have done on Facebook. Which it can, is expensive. Yes, which is expensive. And uh, we decided to stop because uh, it wasn't uh, worth it. Yeah. And it's there that uh, with my uh, learning mm -hmm. that I understood that we need a community. We need to be uh, to, to uh, create awareness about the... You have shop. to build trust. You have to yeah. build your community and... You have to be visible. Yeah. <laughs> and for that, we decided to go on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, <laughs> I remember also, um, we didn't get much of the... Uh, likes no yeah it's normal because you start from a, you're nobody you you're nobody. You, <laughs> you start have zero nothing. you start from zero <laughs> and so we started uh, there and uh, you know with time uh, you post follow of uh, your work you will communicate about uh, your product mm. and uh, you know your drawings yeah. and uh, what you like and stuff like that and you know it just built 
Yeah, and things. also we didn't understand. Well, I didn't understand Instagram either oh, yeah. because I never even had Instagram before. Like uh, I never, I was never into the social media. It was just a personal choice. I never had any accounts or anything for Facebook or Instagram. So the only we only I we only started one for the business. So I didn't even understand how to work with hashtags or algorithm or anything. And uh, so for me, it was like I don't get it. I'm like, why is it worse? it's so slow for us? Like nothing is happening. <laughs> yeah, it's that, and also both of us we didn't have any. Um, how do you say? You know. Uh, relative that can help us oh, or, yeah. like, or friends because even me uh, I uh, I was a bit on Instagram but I was just uh, following uh, people that I am interested of but I didn't have any friends oh, yeah. on Facebook I, I didn't I, uh, I don't have a Facebook I erased mine actually uh, a very long time ago mm. so I, I had nobody yeah we weren't on anything else so we didn't have like I because I know some people like they like Way before they maybe had like a Tumblr or they had a YouTube and mm -hmm. then they started like an Instagram, but then they link all those friends in that community and we didn't have any of that. So we so were start like, from zero, zero. we started from, yeah, really zero, like not knowing anybody. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's interesting because it uh, forced us to, uh, yeah. to develop that, uh, yeah. that part. And so, um, if you're interested by uh, the marketing and uh, stuff like that, you might see some people telling you, uh, you should do a group, oh, yeah, uh, group, follow and follow, you know, that kind of strategy. Or those apps that help your audience grow or Yeah, you, you know, can those have, uh, get some uh, people like that. They tell you how you can uh, grow your community uh, if you pay or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is not a good idea at all. No. I don't... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not saying that uh, you should do that or you shouldn't. This is just how, uh, the way we think and the way we, we process. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my opinion, you shouldn't buy, that for sure, you shouldn't buy any followers, any likes. Uh, I wouldn't go on any groups because maybe it will trick a bit the algorithm. Or I'm just talking about the Instagram right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will uh, uh, cheat a bit the algorithm because uh, you will have more likes and stuff. But you're not growing a real community this way. Mm -hmm. Because um, people who will, will come to, uh, to your um, page they will maybe like or give like some uh, little comments but it won't help you to see like uh, if people really like your stuff or if they're just uh, there because they also want uh, them yeah. to grow their community you're not sure if it's an authentic or genuine comment mm. or if it's just because it's a group yes thing so the best way to grow your community it's slow it takes mm. patience but uh, it's it's just this way actually mm -hmm. you just have to post what you like uh, you show the, your process and everything you communicate with people that you are interested uh, you know with also what they are doing mm -hmm. uh, and it's just natural you know they will come back and uh, it creates uh, like a real group mm -hmm. it's more it's, it's stronger i also want to say even like giveaways i don't know if, mm -hmm. if it's i don't see it as popular now but I know for some, like the, I think we did some giveaways, but it was just to, for the community kind of thing. Yeah. And we actually don't really like to, well, I don't like to do giveaways because you just get a huge following, but it's not authentic yeah. either. They just come for the free thing yeah. and they don't really care. A lot of them don't care. There's some yes, yes. that do like your account or whatever. Well, I will just uh, give that example. Yeah. Sometimes, when you go to the mall, you know, there's some, um, how you call that, uh, you know, the compa um, travel company, mm -hmm. they, may, they, give, they do like some giveaways and uh, you have to uh, fill up a coupon mm -hmm. and um, when they do the, how you call that? Oh, the, um, the raffling? Yes, yeah, the raffling, when they have to pick one uh, winner, you know, you yeah. can win a, a travel. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking like how many of uh, those people who participate when they have done uh, that? How many of them uh, use them um, to go back to see what the company is doing and stuff like that? And I don't think there's a lot of people who just go back, you know. No. It's like when you have to win a car and stuff like that. Uh, you, you just want, you are just there for the price and not for the company. Yeah. And this is... This is fun with the giveaways. Yeah. I think the giveaway, I still like the making giveaways, but when it's about, when it's for your community, yeah. when it's for the people who actually like you, what you are doing, it's a, it's a way to tell them thank you also. Mm -hmm. And if you are just doing that to grow your audience, 
uh, it will grow yeah. for sure. But you will be disappointed because it's an empty. It's empty because those people then after they don't come back to uh, comment on your work. Or else they'll just quickly unfollow after. Uh, yeah, a lot of people they just unfollow when they see they didn't win, or even if they win, uh, you know, yeah. they just w they just won the prize and that's it. So giveaways, it's good, but uh, not as good as you might think it is. Yeah. So yeah, uh, so we decided to not to not do a lot of giveaways. We did some, but not that much because we were aware about that. And um, what else we can say about that? Um, well, there's not only Instagram. No, yeah. We focus first on Instagram because... Um, That's the main platform that we're on. Yeah, we mostly post photos, do a tiny bit of videos, and this is the main platform for us. It was uh, it, it fit well the product mm -hmm. and the store. But um, like right now, there's TikTok, for example, and um, it, it works well for some people. I think it's a bit hard for me still to make some videos yeah. <laughs> and to uh, understand the platform and everything. I try, I get some uh, little feedbacks. It's not that uh, well yet for us, but uh, maybe for you, it, it may be uh, a good yeah. one. You wanted to add something? Uh, no, I think it's fine. So, uh, so yeah, like nowadays, there's a lot of uh, social media and platform. Uh, I'll note them here. So yes, there's Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. And um, none of them are, um, let's say, equal. Yeah. When I say that, I mean, um, if you are good by doing videos, you, you can, yeah, YouTube and TikTok. But maybe there's no interest for you to uh, go on Twitter for that because uh -huh. the platform is not really meant for uh, videos. videos. It's more like, you know, for chat, I won't say chatting, but it's more, it's more text. I think you just have to find your platform that you like and that works for you and for what the content that you plan on doing yes. and focus on that yeah. to build your community and your audience and, uh, you know, and to find something that you're really interested that you want to share with other people. And uh, I think that would be the base and the beginning if you want to start an e-commerce or something small. And, um, and that's what we had missed. And that's why it mm. took us a really, really long time to, to build a community and to be just known to have visibility because we, we didn't have anything and we didn't really have a direction of where we were going or a plan. Mm. And we're learning on the way and we still are. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't think you... <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, you just kind of have to learn and go and mm. you know maybe take some risks. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think something else also in case, something that uh, it took me a while also to understand is to not just rely on one platform. Yeah. Because let's imagine uh, we are just on Instagram and let's imagine Instagram is decide to block Wacom for a random reason, I don't know. Or mm -hmm. let's say uh, they have to shut down. Mm -hmm. Then uh, all the community and all creative things was on there. And if you don't have another platform on the side, a blog, it could be a blog also, or uh, let's say you are also on Pinterest. If uh, one of those platforms uh, goes away, you still have the other. Yeah, don't rely on just one platform, yeah. but try to do uh, maybe one other or two if you can. It's like for us, what is um, interesting for us right now, we said Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, TikTok, I think it's still interesting, just mm -hmm. uh, I am not that used to make videos. So it's just, uh, it takes me a bit long to, uh, to do the videos. Pinterest is also it's also something interesting because it's mostly pictures. Mm -hmm. um, and right now we are doing podcasts too. Yeah. Because uh, okay, we try some uh, YouTube video. YouTube is difficult for me. Yeah. I'm not good at doing videos. Like we have a few up on our channel, and like we take a long time to upload one because the editing. Well, I don't do the editing. So Simon does the editing. I sometimes, I just. Uh, I do what I can, but for me, it's really hard. I don't like being in front of a camera. I <laughs> yeah, I really like YouTube. I like the platform. There's a lot of good videos, but when it's about uh, to make a video, it's another story. Yeah. It's uh, a bit more complicated. Also because, well, right now, you know, I'm, uh, I have a daily job and it doesn't uh, give me a, a lot of time to uh, work on a big project uh, like this, like mm -hmm. a video. I would like to do uh, maybe, uh, oh, it's me, uh, one video a week. For me, it's, uh, it's good. 
but uh, after working I'm tired yeah and it's hard to work on the I mean there's already so many to do yeah. and when you had that uh, I don't manage to make a video a day uh, it's pretty hard but if you can do YouTube and if you like filming uh, that's a great platform so yes so that's why we're not really uh, on YouTube right now it's because just it takes a long time and uh, we are not that uh, good with YouTube. <laughs> yeah, hopefully in the future. M maybe, uh, yeah, if I have more time in the future, I will try again. We haven't given up, we just... <laughs> it's, yeah, it's waiting somewhere. <laughs> but podcast, it's, uh, well, we are new with that too. And uh, it's easier for us because we don't have to film. We are not uh, awkward in front of the camera because there's no <laughs> camera. Yeah. And it's easier, or well, it's not... Uh, super easy also because we have to come up with ideas uh, yeah. and it's another kind of discussion it has to be interesting we hopefully yeah. were you find what we're saying interesting <laughs> and uh, our topics well to be honest sometimes when we are doing the podcast i feel like oh my i'm boring or it's like what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> so okay I, I try to do my best like cynthia just told me before i had to cut a bit the podcast because she said maybe i'm mumbling so i have to be <laughs> careful with that so i try to to uh, to talk a bit more clearly that's no, fine no but it's good it's good it's a good uh, practice practice yeah <laughs> and uh, okay and we also have so we have the website and on the website we have a little blog section oh yes and uh, I'm not good in writing either <laughs> like I feel like I'm not good at anything but, <laughs> you but are. I still like doing that so yeah I wrote some um, some articles about uh, well, what we like stationery yeah. as um, yeah that we have um, uh, some printables. Yeah. So it's like little projects. And yeah, it's good also to have, a, I think, a, a blog. Because the good thing is with that, it's uh, nobody can uh, remove it from you. It's like mm -hmm. it's not... Uh, it's yours. Uh, yeah, it's yours. It's not from uh, Instagram, Facebook, or another platform. This is yours. It's your, your content. Own, it's your content on your platform. So uh, with that, uh, you are safe. Yeah. And uh, also something that we have done wrong with uh, business, it's um, as I mentioned before, we uh, we started with Shopify, so it's not that it's uh, a bad uh, platform. platform. Yeah, it's just it's uh, maybe it's too big. I think when you start something, and um, probably probably what we should have done at the beginning is to start with uh, Etsy. Yeah. Um, I feel like Etsy is maybe um, I think it's probably easier because it's kind of marketplace. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can just put, you know, all your uh, products already there, and um, you can use actually the um, the power of that marketplace. Their to, search engine. Yeah, it's probably easier um, to be noticed there than yeah. if you have your own website. Because people are already going on there to look for things. Yes. And Shopify, it's standing on its own. Yeah. So this is actually where I think we have made a mistake because, as we said at the beginning. Uh, we didn't have any audience yet, no traffic. So if you have no traffic, it's not a good idea to start your own website. Mm -hmm. And it's a better idea to... Uh, and I think cost-wise too, it's less expensive. Yes. So yeah, it's uh, more interesting to go on Etsy because there's already traffic coming there. Mm. Uh, you will still have to uh, to work on the awareness mm -hmm. because you know people they still need to know about you. And also cost-wise, uh, as you said, it's uh, probably more interesting because you, on Etsy, tell me if I'm wrong, you have to pay uh, when you had the product. Uh, yes, I think you only pay when you add a product, um, but... Uh, I don't think it's that expensive. No, I don't remember, but I know it's less expensive if you're it's fairly starting one. out, mm -hmm. yeah. Because for Shopify... And it's easier yeah. for the setting up and just everything in general. Yes, because uh, Etsy takes care of uh, almost everything, I think. Mm -hmm. And if you start a Shopify, well, it's pretty easy too. But um, first, you have to pay for a subscription, like every month you pay already. Yeah. Then they take a commission on uh, your sales. Yeah. And uh, also, you need to have uh, your account. Um, I mean, for people, if they want to be able to pay, you have to uh, install a PayPal and Stripe or yeah, some that's of their the payment methods you have yeah. to So you have to think of that when you have your own website yeah. and on Etsy I think it's already uh, kind of uh, I won't say automatic because I'm not sure but I think it's maybe easier when you start something mm -hmm. uh, Maybe we can... Uh, do you have anything to add or no? Uh, no, I think we kind of covered everything 
maybe we can say uh, what would you do uh, what do you think is good for us to do in the future in the future for the business like how would you grow the business in the future if we had to do something else well that's a big question i know then it's gonna make me think <laughs> <laughs> it's like right now i think what we i think i would like to um well you know i would just work on some new product and maybe just to probably keep our content interesting sometimes i feel mm. like on instagram like i feel like sometimes i'm posting the same thing or i don't know mm. what to say or like it's boring or i don't know so i think i would just you know just to keep the content interesting and hopefully keep finding new things to you know yeah to share yeah because we are post uh, we post almost uh, daily on instagram mm. and for a while it was like two times a day yeah, that's like difficult. And yet, it's, it's pretty hard. But uh, I agree with you. I think what we have to uh, focus on is uh, just create good content. Mm -hmm. And by good content, it be it could be um, helping. Uh, helping, yeah, to help and people. Sharing. sharing, be entertaining in a way. Mm -hmm. And this is maybe the main thing we have to work on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, I hope uh, we will do a good job in the future with that. Yeah. If you have some ideas, I'm talking about the community. If you have some ideas for us, uh, you can let don't us know. Don't be shy. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> yeah. We always appreciate your feedback and your DMs and comments. It's always helpful for us to know that, you know, what you guys want to hear or see or, you know, that you like still what we're doing and you're still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe we can uh, give a little code for them if you are still there listening to the podcast yeah we can give let's say a 15 percent on all the website on the entire website yeah okay okay so for that just type podcast 15 and you'll get 15 percent off uh, in the entire shop so it's podcast p-o-d-c-a-s-t 15 one five yes okay uh so if we have to resume uh, the entire today's podcast, thing. the entire thing. If you start a business, uh, first try to build a community. Be genuine with your community, with the people. And uh, when you have uh, traction, people mm -hmm. are commenting and everything, then you can maybe start to bring your first product. Um, I think it will save you uh, time and money. Yeah. Plus, it will be more interesting yeah. for, for, uh, for you and your audience. And find something that you like so you have oh, fun yeah. with it and it's not a chore but it's it's, it's it becomes a fun project yeah this is uh, super important okay cynthia so i think it's done i, think it's I don't think we have to give any tip today because this was like a big this tip was like a tip <laughs> yeah <laughs> so thank you cynthia um i hope uh, you have a good day everybody thank you for listening and uh, see you soon have a good day thank you